Our book club book of the month for May is An Imperfect Blessing by Nadia Davids. Now Nadia is joining us in studio. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. You've come all the way from London. I have. Not specifically for this. No. But, <laughs> <laughs> but are you enjoying it? But being almost. Home? I mean, the minute I heard. Yeah, you have yeah, to I was be like, there. absolutely. <laughs> are you enjoying Cape Town? Yeah, I love I love being home. It's always it's always such a joy and a pleasure to be here. So it's good. Well, an imperfect blessing is set in Cape Town. Yeah. And it takes us through South Africa on the cusp of transformation. Mm -hmm. What made you want to write about that? Well, I'd spent, I'd been, uh, when I started writing it, I'd been away from home for about four years. I'd been living in New York. And I found that the more people would ask me about what it was like to grow up in South Africa yeah. at that particular time, and the more I would sort of explain it, the sort of more bizarre and strange the landscape appeared, but the more intimate it became yeah. in the retelling. And I think I was also sort of deeply nostalgic for home. I was missing it terribly, and this was a way of sort of invoking it and bringing it into my everyday space in an intimate way. Mm -hmm. So I think there were sort of two parallel things, the desire to kind of tell a story that I think in some ways has been unchronicled because we're still at the place of looking back over yeah. you know, what happened during that very turbulent and extraordinary time. And also it was about wanting to, to be close to home, even if geographically there was the separation. All right, so why did you specifically choose the pre-election timeline? I mean, I think, you know, it was such an incredibly kind of turbulent but optimistic time. And I think yeah. it's quite rare to have those two states of being coalesce and, and rub up against each other. And I think that was, it just seemed to present all kinds of narrative possibilities. And, um, and it was a time that I'd lived through. And so I was interested in it and it shaped me in particular ways. And so that was, I think, the impulse. And also just sometimes a story just comes to you. Um, and that's certainly been my experience with different kinds of stories and the different ones you tell. Is that I don't know how much choice is involved. It's um, like they're forcing you to write them. In some ways, yeah, or they present themselves mm -hmm. to you and then you just sort of follow the characters and you see where they take you and, and what they have to say. Yeah. Well, on that note, can you introduce us to the main characters yeah. in the book? So there's, um, the story sort of got two protagonists, yeah. and the one is Alia, who's about 14, around mm -hmm. the time of the of 93, and the other one is her paternal uncle, Walid. Um, and then there are a host of other characters as well. There are parents, and there's a grandmother, and there's Walid's girlfriend. Um, but those are really the two sort of primary people around which the stories rotate. And in a sense, I guess, it's a coming-of-age story for them both. Um, yeah. And it's set in two periods as well. So it's set in 1983, which is the, the build-up, but then also in 1986 during one of our states of emergency. And it finds both characters at, I think, quite kind of pivotal, transitional moments yeah. for themselves in their lives and sort of follows them um, in that way. So the spine of the story, I guess, in some ways is, um, is mapped out by the events in the country that year but the internal world is sort of all theirs. So it's about their relationships with their family members, with their loved ones, with what they think is happening, with events that touch their lives and that sort of thing. Now what inspired these characters? Are they based on lives that you know, maybe? Yeah, I'm not really. I mean, I suppose uh, Alia in some ways, I suppose, started off where I could draw quite heavily on my own experience, but Walid sort of came yeah. completely unbidden and, uh, you know, such a joy in that as well, when a character sort of appears fully formed but is kind of unknown to you as well. What's the process of developing a character when you're writing a novel? Yeah. Because you obviously start off with this person and do you yourself know how, how they're going to develop throughout the novel? Or just that just I kind of, I know who they are inside, but then what happens to them, mm -hmm. they sort of determine their own fate in terms yeah. of what happens to them. And that's the exciting part when the character sort of, because I think in some ways we all start, all, all writers start with a kind of an edifice, mm -hmm. right, of, um, of, of who they're thinking about. And, and then that gets chipped away because the character starts to tell mm -hmm. his own story or her own story. Um, but a big, I think because of my, my theatre background, I always, and because of you know how, how <laughs> actors are trained to prepare or playwrights are trained to think, I always know how the character speaks first, mm -hmm. and then I know who they are. I know okay. how they speak and I, I know how they dress. And I guess you know those are That's the two components of um, of playwriting and yeah. theatre, right? It's costume and and your yeah. words. So that sort of that when I know sense. those two things together, <laughs> I'm like, all right, it's I know. Work. Yeah, I know who the character is. <laughs> yeah. All right, and. Let's just finish up here. What do you hope people to take away once they read your book? Oh, I, I mean, I hope that they, I hope that they have a pleasurable experience. I hope that at some level it's joyful. Um, 
I hope that they like spending time with the characters and that they enjoy the writing. And I mean, I think that's all one can ever ask for as a writer, is that people invest time in your work and that it's, they get something out of it for themselves as well. Great. Well, thank you for joining me. The book was absolutely wonderful. Thank and I you. hope that everyone watching enjoys it as much as we did. Oh, thank you so much.